Hey everyone, this is part three of my upcoming rapper series. Today I sat down with three upcoming artists. Their names and their music is in the description below. These artists give out personal advice, motivation, how to promote your music, and what you should rap about. They also talk about struggles that they've overcame. If you want to continue to better yourself as an upcoming artist, please hit that subscribe button because this is just part three of this mini series. All right, welcome back to the IOY podcast. Today I got two new guests on today. Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. Shit, my shit, I go by Blue State Blue Day. Hell yeah, man. Let the people know what you do. Shout out to rapping every once and again, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. How'd you get into it? Shit, I really started rapping at like 16 and shit like that, but I really just, I changed my shit when I got, when I started rapping again. When my brother started doing it, died, I started rapping again, but shit. I had a couple of different rappers, man, like a Blood Rest, King ATR, I was, you know what I'm saying? Then I just, Really started taking this shit serious, really, but I can't tell I take it too serious because it's just like a hobby to me. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. What about you? Introduce yourself, man. Oh, man, I'm no good at saying the Midwest ambassador. I, I do a little bit of everything. We narrate, curate, uh, co-produce, act, write, model, rap, clearly. You know what <laughs> I mean? But other than that, I try to do it, do it all, pretty much. Okay, cool, man. So how old were you when you first got started in this music path? Oh man, that was like 30, 30 years ago, literally. For real? I, was, I was sixteen. I always knew I could do it, you know what I mean. But after a while, you know, you don't really know how good you are until somebody say it. And after that, he's like, "Dude, you're pretty good with some words, man. You ever try rapping?" I'm like, "What? Nah, man. I'm in poetry. I'm cool. I'm trying to get the girls and all." And they was like, "Nah, try it." Next thing you know, man, somebody gave me a chance and. Oh, man, I love it. It's been a rush ever since. Hell yeah, man. 30 I years in. Yeah. I ain't rich yet, but I'm going to get it there. I'm going to get it eventually. Yeah, you know yeah. yeah. It, it takes time. It takes a grind, man. For sure. That's, that's for, for sure. sure. You ain't going to get no closer by giving up, for real. Yeah. So, you know, I guess, you know, to kind of dive into it, you know, a little bit more, you know, since you guys are both, you know, kind of upcoming artists and stuff, uh, you know, what was kind of, you know, we'll go you first and then him. Like, what was kind of your click moment that, you know, you kind of wanted to pursue music with your life? Shit, my stepdad was doing music. His name like Frog Loke, and, you know what I'm saying? He was doing music and shit like that. And then I just ran into my homie. Well, he ain't my homie no more, but at this point in time, he's had a fucking uh, little studio shit, so, you know what I'm saying? He had a little shit in his closet, you know what I'm saying? I had a little pro tools and shit, so I started fucking with it, and, like, oh, I kind of like this. I kind of like listening to myself up, so that's what did it really, just listening to myself up, liking my song. Right. Can you recall a song that, you know, was, like, kind of like your first one that, you really liked and other people enjoyed? Shit. What's my shit? Uh, MySpace.com slash King ATR. It's like, <laughs> MySpace. Back, com. Back, back in the uh, MySpace Space. days and shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Yep. It's, what I'm gonna say. it's MySpace.com slash K I N G A T R W A. Shit. I, I didn't change the first song I did on that, but that's what made me really start doing the song shit. Yeah. What about you, man? What's that, my pivotal point? Uh, I don't know. It was being in front of people, man. And, and again, just to feed off what you're saying, you, you, you'll you know that you got it because people will start looking at you and will, they look at you different like, man, you should really pursue that, dude. You, you sound kind of good with that, man. Who's that, you? Is that you? <laughs> no, that ain't you. And, and, and a guy gave me a chance, Tanger Ray the Tang Bang, he was like, he was like the the undefeated freestyle king in Omaha, Nebraska. Damn. Or you know what I'm saying? It's uh, uh Raymond Williams, like Tang Ray the Tang Man. He was like uh he got this group called Bop or Die. He used to be with Afterlife, which was the people that was here, like HD the Great, uh 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 what's that, three times crazy, uh full clip. You know, it was it was like he's up there with those folks. So he was like, Man, you ever thought about rapping? I was like, nah, not really. He's like, Man, now uh what I want you to do is when you go in there, rap just like ain't nobody around you. Just just how you just how you made it sound when you was in your house. Just is exactly how I want you to spit it. You know, on, on on in the studio. I had never been in the studio before in my life. Had never been in front of a microphone. And when I got in there, dude, it just was I don't know. What up, man? I was like it was it was phenomenal, man. This is like I don't know. I, and then when you go back and you hear yourself, and they put the playback on it, and they make you sound something like you like. Wait a minute quantizing and compressing and all of a sudden you sound like every bit of what you sound like in your head you're like dude I'm about to do this again let me <laughs> yeah. see if I can do it like this let me right. see if I can sound like that so yeah. that right there man people giving you a chance and feeding off of your energy is my pivotal point and I just kept going Damn. 30 years after that I just kept, kept going. running with it kept yeah. going <laughs> 
Well, as you guys can see, we had someone else just join us right now. He said loop squad in the building. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, there you go. Just pass it he back. He said share it. We're going to share it a little bit. Share this can. You know what yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. Hey, yeah, it's your boy uh, Shorty from Little Squad. Little Squad Shorty in the building. How's it going, man? Man, it's going good, man. Sorry about being a little late, man. <laughs> no, no worries, bro. I didn't know if you were going to make it. I'm glad you made it. Better oh, yeah. late than never, you know what I mean? He was, he was, he was rushing. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was I let me fall on everything. <laughs> 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 I don't know. He got to eat a good piece of cake or what? He's like, dying. Right, <laughs> I'm here, yeah. Hey, you made it, bro, so I appreciate it. I mean, I appreciate you, Bob. Yeah, yeah. So um, kind of introduce yourself and give a background of uh, you and when you started rapping and, you know, how what was your click moment and when you wanted to pursue, you know, music and stuff. Yeah, once again, like I said, it's a little squad shorty, man. And uh, as far as I can remember, I came from St. Louis, grew up in the slums, man. And uh, the only outlook we had back then, man, was... You know, hustling the streets, man, and then doing the music, you know. And back then, we was breakdancing and, you know, all that kind of stuff, tabletop, man. It was just a lot of getting into the whole culture of it, graffiti and, you know, all that. So what I do is, like I say, is the music helped me turn a page from going one part of my life heading in one direction, you know what I'm saying, which it was hustling to eat, hustling to, you know, so I got there with the grinding. And, uh... Just, just like I say, just the thoughts that you have going on in your life, and you know, not just the way the outlook. Um, instead of physically taking it out on somebody, you can verbally take it out. You know, so yeah. put it down on paper, and then express yourself. Should I say express yourself more? And then so I uh, moved here, to, moved here to Omaha, man, and just uh, came um, connected with some local talent here, man. We just started putting some groups together, man, and start rocking shows. The more I start rocking shows, the more the crowd start getting into it, the more I loved it, man, the more I made a career out of it. Then on top of that, having kids and everything else like that, man. So it's something that you own that can't nobody ever take away from you. Yeah. You know, it's yours. And then, and, you know, that's what I love about it is just no matter how old I get, whatever, I'm always going to love it. I was going to love doing it. I was performing. love writing. love recording, you know. I don't know how much you were saying about recording, but and yourself coming in that studio, man, it's, man, I'm the first time I heard myself, man, I'm like, who is that? <laughs> don't sound nothing like, you know, you think it's out of your head. Yeah. Like, you know, like, yeah, you know, so you got to get used to that, man, but, uh, you know, dropping those, man, those tracks, man, and, you know, you got those hitters, and you hear people in the studio just doing like this, rocking the head, and bobbing the head, you know, you got a hitter, yeah. you know. It's a whole year, though. I'm in a year's 25. Damn, so you've been in it for a while. Yeah, 25, yeah. He's just a little bit over you, 30, you said, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man, so yeah, he's been doing it for a long time, man. Yeah. My guy right here, boy, cats like him, man, keep you young. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for real. Competitive fire, man. <laughs> man. You Maybe you, you, ever, you ever performed or came out the stage that he got off the stage, man. I mean, first time I seen no good before, man, and uh, what was that? What was that? The reverb, I think. And, uh, we, yeah. we had to go on after him, and I was still sitting there. It was time I was going off, still standing in front of the stage, like, man, what in the hell just happened? <laughs> like, I go on after him? He's, but, like, you know, he's like, let's turn this stuff over. I, I, I'm like, oh, we got to do something, man, because when he could command, you know, command and control, control the crowd, had the crowd rocking with him, man, it was, just, it was incredible to watch, man. And he's a great, you know what I'm saying? Entertainer, man, especially a great lyricist as well. You know, I really appreciate it. Oh yeah, definitely, man. I love watching him perform, man. It's just something, something to see. He's never really seen it yet. No, I, it's I something to see, man. I want to, I want to see. Oh, it's something really. to see. Believe like, me, I tell you. Oh, it goes. I mean, I said it goes straight to the roof. Yeah, there you go, man. That's God doing that, and everything I know. And next thing you know, it's just. I don't know, the feeling that I feel, I want the whole room to feel it. Trust me, the tears don't swell, you're going to feel it, you're going to get a goosebump somewhere, you're going to nod your head, you're going to do something. Yeah, definitely. You know, we're going to connect. It's an energy going to definitely come back and forth between us. You know I mean? Right. Yeah, when you leave him, man, after, after he got off stage, you got to almost break your legs or something, man, to keep up with him. Hey, it's good. You got to go talk to the next artist, wipe the sweat off of Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, you be, be running across the stage, across the stage, trying to keep up with him, just keep, keep the energy going. Yeah. You know, yeah. but it, that's how you do it, though. You set the bar high now to keep it, you know, keep the movement going. Right. That's what that, that's what I like about it, right? Because you know, you don't come out nobody and they don't got the crowd high. You want the crowd to be high, ready, so it gives you a little bit more push to, you know, instead of bring your a game. Yeah, and yeah. So, you know, while we're on that topic, you know, like uh, what what kind of style do you try to project in your music? We'll we'll go you and then we'll keep passing down. You're like what kind of what what do you try to put like out there? You know? Yeah, yeah, like what, Yeah, like what kind of 
you know, that you try to, like, you know, messages and stuff that you put in your music, but you know what I mean? Like, what kind of style do you try to project when you're making music, you know? Shit, I just try to keep the shit as real as possible, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's not way to, you know? Yeah. I try to make it good, fun music, you know what I'm saying? Not too depressing, but shit, I try to make shit, shit, I try to keep it as real as possible, you know what I'm saying? I want to be, you know, finish this shit, I want to be, you know, make the least shit, I want to be something that, you know, me, you know, type of shit, you know, I don't want to be... You know what I'm saying? Making no fantasy shit, like having billions of dollars on that watered down rap. Right. It's like watered down rap right there. Yeah, and see, you the, the when you're able to actually relay shit that you went through and, uh, you know, that you've been through in your life, it makes it probably a lot more easier, right, to, to make relatable. something. Yeah. Yeah. And relatable as well, yeah, instead of yeah, I gotta saying all my own raps, you know what I'm saying? Every time I write it, like, no, no, I ain't real. I gotta keep it real myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. If I can't produce it, I, can, I produce it. I'm not about to just make you think that's me. Yeah, that's right. Me. You gotta be you. I right. been looking in the mirror after I write this shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> no. Well, for me, man, I would say uh, it's, it's a mix of. It's, it's, a, it's conscientious rap, you know what I mean? But me, I I don't try to stick to one genre or one nothing. If, if it's a. EDM something I have here. I try to do it. If it's like hop, uh, uh, hip hop, and like house or something, or I done done gore core. I mean, it's for real. That now that like I love you and want to sit your jaw too much. You know what I'm saying? Drink your blood, happy party. You know what I mean? Weird. I even went. That's a black little. Oh my god, it went, it's crazy. <laughs> but, but you, but you try to. I believe everybody is a spectrum of life. You got everybody has so many. They have a an evil them, a conscious them, a happy them, a depressed them, a stress. Every emotion you have, that's a spectrum of life. I try to put myself in every category that I can. If I'm depressed, if I'm upset, if I'm sad, if I'm if I'm kind of feeling disgusted about myself, is I write something to relate my life for people to relate to, but at the same time. Keep a track of what you're doing, so you can look at how you came through your life. Mm-hmm. You can look at your life path and be like, "I watched how I came from a dark place. I watched how I came from being desolate, or poverty stricken, or having that mentality that I got to put my hands on the force." So then I saw my conscious turn point, and then I start reflecting and depleting bad off of me. And then people start seeing this and start listening to my messages. Like I watched it life. You got to be evident. Mm-hmm. You, you got to be an example and a demonstration of yourself yeah. when you rap. Right. You got to hold a responsibility to something. Yeah. No, not just what you're saying because rah, 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 that's just a piece of expression to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody is sitting and martyring on everything that you're saying yeah. and ready to rah, 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 as soon as you say it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to be responsible with the tumult and, 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 and the temperament and the frequency that you use right. with, the, with the temperament and what you say because all those are templates for people to take they, they wait for a trigger or a switch to hit so my thing is to be realistic mm-hmm. what would you want to hear to make you feel inspired right what do you think you should say to make a person feel like they don't want to hurt themselves mm-hmm. what was the thing you needed to hear when you was feeling depressed and knew you could do more if somebody would just say that one thing to me that's what i want to put out in there. and then on top of that I have fun with everything I do. I'm not broke. I'm not rich either. But if you do anything, at least make sure you have joy and fun mm-hmm. with it. I can't be serious all the time. That's no need for that. Life is already that. Lighten up a little bit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Life's Life, hard enough. <laughs> you know what I mean? Run one off and go walk away and tuck the chain. You know what I mean? But make fun music. Make serious music. Make reflective music. Make conscious music. Make music that's expressive. Make rebellious music. Make love music. You know, whatever you can make. It just shows that you're humane and you're going to relate. And the more you do something, the bigger it's going to go. You might not get big right now, but you never know what that effect is when you go put it in the universe. I mean, that the, the reward of somebody way over there what? telling you that they appreciate your music is going to be way better than a value of giving a million dollars for a person who's trying to see what your soul is worth. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'd rather get that from over there. Right. Man, every time I listen to this, man, it brings me up out of this, man. And, and your music is real, bro. I, I feel your struggle. Man, I appreciate you. Right. Yeah. That makes right. me. I'm talking to these people. Right. Man, put me on your screen. If you as real as you say you are, next thing I know, I see a background. I see them. It's real for me. Damn. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I appreciate that, dude. I can sit here and talk with many people, share many tips with anybody. We we talk. Yeah. We're all around here. I don't, I don't trip. And if you can't show expression, you ain't human. 
Right. You carbon copy. They made you worry, treated you too bad. You ain't got no feeling. So I say, man, write music that's going to be a reflection of what you know, what you experience, what you feel people should hear, and what you know they must hear. Other than that, you ain't even real with yourself because if it ain't coming from you, it ain't in you. Right. I'm blank, you know what I mean? For real. But mine is a conscientious, conscientious realism, but it's fun yeah. and lyrical. I want to put an impact on you. I don't know what you're going to remember. But I want you to remember my ball headed ass when I get off the stage. You're like, I remember him doing it. And he was saying some fast slick shit. He was saying uh, comedy shit in there. He was fine with it. And then he go into a song, man. And next thing you know, that book, he can pull a heart string on you like. Mm-hmm. I need to call my mom and appreciate my mother and kids, man. Yeah, yeah. That's where I'm at with it. So I, I like that. That reality, that fun and conscientious music. Thanks, Kendrick. Thanks, Cole. Thanks, Dre. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Karis. When they brought, they brought it right back around. Yeah. You know what I mean? We brought it right back around. Now people listen. Yeah. People want to hear what you got to say. Be emotional. Get carried away. Because you know, getting emotions hurt and getting carried away. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at with it. And I already know. I already know what kind of music he going to say. <laughs> I, just want to, I just want to hear it come out of his mouth. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's gonna say. But he think I'm gonna say anyway, but uh, <laughs> I'm just messing with him. I don't know what he's gonna say. He's no, gonna deep thought. <laughs> no, it was just really just thinking about over the years of me doing music. It's always kind of what I've been going through at the time. Like you know, like I said, when I came here, I was struggling. I was in the game begging and the hustling. That's the kind of music I was portraying. That's the music I was putting out because that's what I was living. Right. You know, so as I grew older and having kids, my music trying to change the same way. And it's hard about partying and making money. You know what I'm saying? Like what group's called Loose Squad, that's about making money. Yep. You know, it's about the ladies, about partying, it's about, it's about the whole nine. Well, you know, whatever I'm feeling is what I'm putting making down. The loop. Right, right. Whatever it is that we're in the mood for, we come to the track and say, man, I want to talk about this. Well, that's what we feeling right now, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. And it's different, man, because we can go from turning them off, getting money, to going to trips with our ladies to, like you said, man, bearing the homeboys. You, you, it just, it just a whole circle, like you said, it's just how you feel and come real with it. And and I think the the, the best music you ever put out is the realest music. Yeah. yeah you true. know, the yeah. realest music you ever put out. If you ever thought about, like, the more things get closer to your life, the way you're like, man, people feel it more. Mm-hmm. It's hard the way you get from it, the the, 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 the disc you get from with the reality. People come like, yeah, that's cool, you know. So that's cool, but we get the deeper you get into the thoughts, as get close to you, you be like, it just it's the vibe that you bring out, yeah. you know. Say so even when you rap it, it's it's the energy you bring out for you. Can tell it real, just from the heart, mm-hmm. and people feel it more. Right. So what I do is try to get, you know, do music as closer to the heart as you can, you know, closer to reality. Everything is fun, like I said, like it's right now. What I got left, I'm not in the streets no more. I mean, I'm got, I'm a grandpa, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm a grandpa. Game, so I'm out here, I mean, I'm raising, yeah. I'm raising kids trying to make money. That's what I'm trying to do, have fun, you know, right. and get the dollar. I mean, that's that's what it is. That's my life system now, you yeah. know, and having fun doing my music. Yeah. Uh, and but don't get it twisted. Get out of line, grandpa. Get down. He ain't, he ain't coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> so that'd be known, grandpa. Ain't that old? He still get down out here. <laughs> But, you know, so just like I said, like party music and bro, so you, get, you don't know what you're going to stage when we hit the stage, man. You, you never know. know. You never know what kind of music we're going to bring. Yeah. You know, we got, you know, we might do, like, you know, we got, we got a song with his brother right now. It's called Legends, and it's a really country song, man. It's it's deep, man. They play it on radio station damn near every morning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's man. What's it's, up. It's, it's decent. And, it's, and, it, and it gets us three yeah. different uh, opinions on what Legends is. Mm-hmm. His brother's opinion, mine, and then my partner, Jay Downers. And you'll feel each and every one of them. Damn. Yeah. In a different way. You don't yeah. feel one of them. Yeah, yeah one guarantee. Of them. Yeah, yeah, damn, So, yeah, yeah, no. And it's just like then, like uh, like I said, we got uh, the tracks with other people, man. But it's just, like, what I, what I like to do, I like to challenge myself. Like, I would give, like, no good here. I'm like, man, here, uh, here's this track, man. And we can hook in a verse. Right. And if he you know, then that way if he comes back with the verse, then I'm trying to myself just not miss his thoughts right now. So I gotta, how can I come out to match him and come out where he at on this level? So it's kind of challenging. That's why it's a challenge. Yeah, yeah. yeah so That's you challenge you yourself. You're trying to get to that level, you know, because if I'm just if I'm just constantly just going doing music what I do in my head, then I'm only going so far. So I gotta take myself to the next level. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So challenge myself. I look at him like his style is way different than mine. You know, to I'm, yeah. I'm trying. To, I'm gonna try to do it, get close to it, at least rock to it, and we we'll get the same level, get the same feel of it. You know, 
So it's, 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 all, it's all about it, yeah, yeah. It's like you know, a friendly competition, you because know, you guys, yeah, are, you guys, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because you guys exactly. are together, no, making fun. I like that. I mean, but the best way to become better than yourself currently is to match yourself with someone who's bigger, and smarter, better. more advanced, mm-hmm. stronger, richer, more conscientious. Yeah, because definitely. they can share that mm-hmm. with you. You know what I mean? That, and then you, I don't know, you just take those attributes and add them. You yeah, know what I mean, it, they, they work. That's why I never turn anyone down. Is whatever level of music you're on, they ask me to do a verse with them. I'm always happy to do one. I'm whatever you on because maybe they, I'm doing this for them to say that they that somebody's doing it for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So maybe I'm in one. They look at them like I want to look like him. So let me write. You know, yeah. whatever level they on, I'm I'm gonna write a verse for them. So I don't I don't turn down two people. You know, like that. Yeah. Unless you just out here doing some things, I just completely just don't write. You know, you know, like, you know. I, you can't do business. I can't do business with you all the way around. You can't be up here rapping. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, you over here doing this other wild stuff. Like, nah, no, I can't. No, no. no I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm okay. Boom, no. Far away from you. <laughs> I'm a step far away from you. I can't find it. Yeah, yeah but like that, man, it just—it's all about the love, man, and whatever I'm feeling at the time, whatever the, the beat drops, whatever tells me that's the way I'm rocking, man. Right. No, I feel it, man. So, you know, I guess you know, with putting all that work into all this, the music, you know, because you have to put in as much work as you do with promoting, or else it ain't gonna do shit, you know. So, how would you guys say that, you know, you guys promote it? I mean, we start with you for you. Yeah. I was using my Twitter, somebody got my shit shut down, so shit, now it just be like social media and shit like that. I just be dropping videos for real, for real, you know what I'm saying? I was too focused on the street shit, I just really just got out of prison like January 26th. I've been out of twice, so shit. I, I'm just getting out, yeah. Yeah, I'm fresh off that motherfucker. I'm trying not to go back, so really I'm trying to get back in the flow of fucking with the music shit for real, for real. Shit, I really just been. Chilling, just trying to get my life back together, get financially stable, you know what I'm saying? So, right. but right now, shit, probably social media, I can have video, music videos type shit. It's really like, my, I'm not fully focused on the music like I like well before I went down, or prior before, prior, like a little bit before I went down. See, I got a cassette and all type of shit, so yeah, I'm trying to get back on the focus. I just bought a beat from a motherfucker, Mill Clinton, and shit like that, and shot by Gretzky. I just shot a video with him. I got another one. I, I paid him full for it, so I got a couple videos that I'm supposed to be dropping and shit, but I'm really trying to just get focused back on this shit like I was, cause, you know, it just like shit. I mean, life events that, you know what I'm saying, block you from doing shit, you know, you got to just feel like shit, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Well, no, I mean, I respect you for, you know, being able to come here and even bring in your son, you know, because you, you made time to, you know, come out and do this, you know what right. I mean? So, I mean, whatever the situation is, you know, you came out, you made it, and, you know, now you're out of prison and stuff, like you said, so now it's just time to get back on the grind, you know what I mean? That's what it is, you know, and yeah, now you got right. more shit to rap about, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm going to make sure I get before you leave. Yeah, I'm going to make sure I get the contact before you leave, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, I, gotta, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about it's like the action pan the feed for World Star, say cheese and shit like that. I was asking about promotion, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a little buzz going on with the city, like Ching Down in the Park, World Lane, just like that. Yeah. But you gotta reach outside the city because, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of cop blocking, you know what I'm saying? Black boy shit, you know what I'm saying? You ain't, you ain't, you ain't really in the end kind of like little homies. I've been in a few of the Nike deals, just like that, but. If you ain't really one of the motherfuckers that everybody dick riding, if they're riding, and you ain't watching that bit. Right, right. Yeah, you don't feel as if you ain't worth it, worth, yeah. worth the time. Yeah, so a lot of my folks on the street shit, and I ain't, and shit, and me 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 yeah, I ain't trying to say, I'm trying to stay focused, stay clean, and stay out of uh, bullshit. I'm just trying to, you know, live life, you know what I'm saying? Make music get here and there. It's more of a hobby, you know what I'm saying? Because I enjoy making music. I like listening to myself. Like he said, like he said, like, you hear some talk, but when you hear something, I'll be like, that's how I sound? Right. Oh, He's like, I was about to go in. Yeah. Like, oh, you want to have to help me? Yeah. Y'all need to sound like that. All right. 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 <laughs> I would say my, my, my promotion means is by all means I haven't been around for a minute so you gotta go through the mistakes of knowing who's what and asking a few questions and try to be humble and, and modest about why you're trying to promote and all but the best way to promote 
in any fashion is to give them a give them an audio, push the audio like crazy. When you push the audio like crazy, give them a visual, not a video, but let them at least see who is making this music. Mm-hmm. A whole bunch of pictures here, and and the key to pictures, the key to pictures is make sure they're positive, make sure they got color, and make sure that they're bright, so people can see the background and the detail interest and whatnot. And then they see your whole face and then when you put some positive up there on top of your HTTP they are like, oh, well let me check this out. This is already in my head conscious, ready for what to hear because my eyes already enjoy what I'm seeing because my ears enjoy it to begin with. Right. So that's, you have to give it, it's a package y'all. You have to give them a pictorial or a thumbnail so they can see and then when they hear you and see you now they want to see you in motion. They want to see you animal. How active are you? And when you active do you interact with people? Do you follow them back? Do you subscribe? Because that's how you get it. Yeah. Oh man, I got all these subscribers. Well, that's going to take for you to subscribe to people because once you subscribe to someone, your stuff entangles mm-hmm. with the same people. Mm-hmm. Then that's when your algorithms and stuff go up. But if you consciously doing this all the time, giving, giving, but not with your hand over, you ain't getting nothing back. Yeah. Those fists ain't going to got nothing to offer but a hard time. Right. That's so true. I'm going to loosen up whatever I need to because I know whatever I'm granting for it to happen for somebody else when I come back, I'm gonna have something in return. So I tell people, you have to learn to promote people to get promotion. Mm-hmm. You gotta support some and show your face. They may not support you, right? but the people that support them and that's on their page, well, see support. that you're supporting it. Who is this dude that keep on sharing my <laughs> homie, my boyfriend, my guys, my dude stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He called dude. <laughs> right. I'm a star fox. Yeah, I heard all your stuff, homie, but this dude on your page is... <laughs> this dude on your page. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. it took for me to see that I had to support people in order to get support. Right. And then it took for me to promote mine on a regular... Catch a catch a peak hours mm-hmm. when you know most of your friends. When you you know how to catch a peak hours, folks. Yeah. Go to your chats or go to your uh, 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 analytic. Your, your, yeah, and then all you see all them bubbles, or you see. Wait a minute, how many friends are online right now? Yeah. Sometimes it be little. They shrink and it's all small. Mm-hmm. When they when they keep stretching out, that means it's more and more. That's when it's time for you to promote. And then, <laughs> once yeah. you do that, four hours after that, do it again. Yeah. Do it again. Next thing you know, they were like, wait a minute, he's gonna be on here. <laughs> yeah. And then you just do a live or something at least once or twice people a week. Are and people are going to once or twice a week. Yeah, yeah they're right. going to do that. But post something about five times a day. Let them see you live at least two times a week. Make sure your colors and your pictures and the image that you get, no matter how dark your music is, make sure it's bright and pleasant so people can see it interesting. And then once you do that, just support people as they support you. Follow back, subscribe. Next thing you know. Man, my Spotify list just jumped up. Dang, my algorithm just went up. Man, I got the game of subscribers. Man, people follow me like crazy on my page. And then when you go to your page, go down to your invite at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, and push invite friends. And select all. They might have missed it last week. They might have missed it a few hours ago. Mm-hmm. They ain't tired of hearing you because they would have deleted you by now. Yeah. This ain't for the ones that, man, I got to get this dude promote too much. It's for the ones who want to see it. Get the hell out of my face. Well, you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's just the one that be like, oh, man, he too much. Like, well, yeah, bye. So, yeah, so it, <laughs> takes, it, it takes for you to support somebody else. Mm-hmm. Make sure your stuff is positive. Make sure your pictures is on point. Always post your videos. No matter what you do, just always post your videos so they can see you. Don't get tired of, don't ever get tired of supporting you because think about this. You might do it a lot of times. You know those artists that's out here with millions of views? They got a team of people. That's all they do is that. That's all they do. So your little promotion for yourself is very much deserved and granted. And if don't nobody else support you, you can at least say, look at my page. Look at my artist that come there every day. Right. That's how you got to do it. Child. That's how my promotion is to share promotion with somebody else. Make sure that it's positive. Make sure it's, it is bright. And then make sure I do it on a regular basis. And so people can see your face and constantly. Don't do so many at a time. If you got a project, do that project. Right. If you got singles, do, do that. that single and push that mother. Push. Boost it. Put that $5 credit in Facebook. Put for you. <laughs> do all that. You know what I'm saying? That's not When they do that, that's soliciting. Mm-hmm. That's getting you out there. That's not buying views. That's organically letting the algorithms and the people that curate this page put your stuff out there because that's what you ask for. Mm-hmm. 
Cause you use them. And um, count your streams, y'all. Count your streams. Brag on them shits. Tell people your shit was bubbling up. You should be on this. Don't wait to be on the ass even when you got the horn and shit like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So y'all got to catch niches, man. Don't be afraid to get on people's pages and tell them that you're famous and follow them. You admire, man. If you would, hey, I'm about to subscribe to you right now. I'm about to screenshot that thing to you, man. Screenshot do the same thing, bro. We good. Matter of fact, I want to make a collab with you. Yeah, you, you got to do all. I just gave y'all every bit of how you're supposed to promote. That's There's no I'm other way around it. Other than that, you got to hire a professional, beneficial business marketing team to push it every month for a certain amount of money, everywhere, put it on Spotify, playlists, and all that type of stuff. You don't have to do all that. You don't have to work this You don't work this You got homies, girlfriends, mistresses, <laughs> all that. Tell them why they capping and putting on somebody else and listening to somebody else's radio. Tell them, hey, they was local somewhere once before they got famous. Now it's my turn. How about you support me? See, you don't know them folks. You know me. So that's how that's how I go, y'all. That's how you got to promote it. Real talk. What about you? I mean, pretty much it's the same thing. Like you said, I mean, you know, there ain't no other way around it, though. How you, you know, how you put it out there. I'm still old school, though, man. I got there on the street. I got to share my secrets with him. I'm yeah. Just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how yeah, we yeah, do it. Yeah, how you doing that? Yeah. Easy, man. Every day, yeah. though. Yep, like he said, I came here for a couple times, bro. We had talks about, like, bro, I said, you know, get down there, you know, and do this. Yeah, hit break, break that. Like, bro, that's what you do, bro. I want to see you make it. So, yeah, so, yeah, like I said, I'm out there pushing it on, on Facebook, on Facebook, putting videos out there. We're also out there face to face with people. Hand you know out flyers, hand, hand out hand flyers. Hand like when I had brother Spice one here for my birthday, I was out there in the streets every day. I was on live. I was doing it once a week. I, I was pushing it hard every day, all day long. I'm at this spot, man. You know, these tickets, tickets right here. Yeah. I was, <laughs> that's how I got my tickets coming out of a concert. Like, I can get my ticket right now, bro. Right. I mean, I'm everywhere. Like, everybody knows. Whatever I'm at here, I'm right here. Come get these tickets. All right, let's go. So you more in the trunk, in your face. In the public, face. Right? Oh, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know okay. that? I mean, okay. I, I, you know, I'm trying to do both of them. If I'm not, if I'm sitting outside waiting for you to come, I'm doing this on, on the phone. Man. You know? Yeah. Right. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I got it from watching him a lot, too, because he, like I said, he do lies a couple times a week. And I'll tell you, right then and there, hey, y'all know how I'm doing it? Man, yeah. I'm looking at these numbers. I just shot, but I just shot to his lies a couple times. For yeah. real, man. Pulled up on him while he was doing lies. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, okay. yeah. I, this was not scripted. I did not tell him to pop up right now. I popped up. Like, what's happening? Like, yeah, no. It's like that, but, uh. Yeah, man, like any way possible to get it out there, get it out there. Like I said, you know, subscribe, share. Like you said, man, and it's something about Omaha, man, that you got to get your music out here and around because, you know what, you have, I have a thousand people coming to me in one day and be like, man, they love this video, they love this song, they love this. And I have a hundred people hit like, yeah, right, yeah. People like to see you do good, just not bad. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy <laughs> because they been, instead, of, instead of hitting like on your page real quick, takes the same amount of nothing. Of but they will have will hold a ten minute conversation with me about how proud they are of me and how good they think my music is. What's the butt though? <laughs> and I be like, I seen you on video. I really I didn't see you like or nothing, you know. But right. it's it's something about it. Like they don't want to be the ones to hit like your Insta. But well, they want to stop you in the street and then like, yeah, I got a place to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you know I'm saying. saying. But it's fine. I, I appreciate that too. But right. just show the people you like it too now. Yeah, yeah. Hit like on it. Let's let everybody else know that you already like it. I can't get famous if you don't share. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. I mean, that's true. I, I, that's I, true. I, I ain't taking no shirts. Hit like. Just give, yeah. give, give me some likes. Take some tap. That's, that's <laughs> it. I put it right at the bottom. Share my shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't <laughs> share it. <laughs> I was like, and don't forget to share my shit. <laughs> they was like, okay, yeah, that's right. But you know what? The Remind ones who did, them. The ones who did like, always the ones who share it. Yeah. And always the ones that pop up at your show, too. Yep. Yeah. And always the ones going to come see you. Real ones on earth. You have. What do you mean, you have? You have what? <laughs> Go over there, man. <laughs> yeah, Go, cause you constantly, you're constantly, constantly coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got support you. That's another way to promote too. Always have something to offer, right? Like yeah. a raffle, yeah, a giveaway, consolation prizes. A, uh, like I had a TWERK contest, mm-hmm. and oh man, it was a lot of a no child around, you know. And but the thing about it was, you <laughs> have to have something to offer when you promote. The people feel as if they're getting more than what they're. Bargaining for it, they always are, are, are settled to get or want to come. 
Yeah. So you got raffles and giveaways and probably prizes or door consolation and stuff like that. First 10, 15 people do this or first 100 people subscribe, you get this. Next thing you know, people love F-R-E-E. They love free. Yeah. They love free. Hey, you can get free this if you... Oh, that's all you got to yeah. say. You ain't got to say nothing else. You get free, and they all in on it. Once you get free out your mouth, they on it. They're like, oh, yeah, it's yeah, free. Yeah. So you got to have something to man, other than promoting and being like conscious of uh, sharing other people's uh, yeah. stuff. You know what I'm saying? You definitely have to have something to offer, like, like constellation prizes or, like, you know, gratuity things. Yeah, promote other artists right here, man. You know what I mean? And, and promote people, other artists, man. People will definitely come and be like, dang, this dude promoting you like... Like y'all know each other, like like y'all do yeah. track with each other. I was like, you make good music. I like this. Promote music. Yeah, promote yeah. other artists, man. Everybody yeah. want to be the yeah. star. Where the fans going? Right. right. Where the fan? What happened? What, I mean, you ain't fans anymore. I mean, I just seen kids all the way from two, three years old. I mean, high school. I'm about to can't stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This ain't nothing to me. You know what <laughs> I mean? seen it. Yeah. Man got like two million views. This boy don't even know how to spell million views. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, he has the support. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sister. And yeah, the views. See old granny, sixty something. Yeah, still old school. Still dropping these jewels. I mean, and still I'm got like, views. Man, she is spinning. But but you got people behind you that believe. Right. My kids not, are good kids. I'm not trying to not see you make it. I'm not friendly competing with you either. Right. You take all the dance groups and take all the people that put shows together. You take people that like to actually non profitable get around here and vent and you all put us all in one room and we're going to do this. Are you with it? We're going to do this for this purpose in the community. Are you with it? Okay, well, we're going to sign it. And then if we promote them, everybody promotes. Business owners, establishers, uh, endorsers, vendors, the, the participants, the hosts, the DJ, the goddamn volunteers, everybody promotes. You have to contract. Put it on. When this event, we promise to do this for promotions and marketing. We promise to do this for giveaways and tickets. We promise to do this the day of the show. We promise to clean this shit up after it's all over. Right. You know what I mean? Promissary. You, for some odd reason, when people see contracts and guarantee, they, 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 they're ready for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we set it off, and you, I was on the want to get on. I was, once you get those people whose priority and their, their, like, their space for what they're professing is all together, when you got kids there, a lot of kids are going to come. So I wouldn't put a lot of kids' answers there. Exactly. It's not a lot of profitable organizations that they got vendors and people put them in. Right. And then you got the people who set stuff up for Ching Diamond and ISO and all that. Get them to actually put it together and bring it all in one spot and make it a one, two day event, all age, citywide. Get it done. Make sure why you got some food, entertainment, some information, some inspirational speakers, some acts, some comedy, some dancers, some live entertainment. What else can you? Some cars, some razzle dazzle. After that, you got vendors and people trying to sell their independent merchandise and, 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 and being business owners. That's all we need in the community and do it more than just once or twice a year. Do it like every three months so you can collect from the recoil and then right. figure out what the next thing and the theme and mm -hmm. then give the other people opportunity. the opportunity to do the same thing and keep mm -hmm. doing it so everybody has a chance. Y'all get that? Yeah, did, yeah. <laughs> did y'all get that? It, it's not hard. I've been here for 20 years and people are like wondering. So that's a shout out to Doris Boy. Always, he's wondering. L42, mm -hmm. so always wondering. How can you make this better? How can you make this better? I just told you. And I've looked and sat back for a long time. I'm from 11. And I was like, if, if they did it like we did it, it'd be so easy. You know, hey, get your hands out my pocket. No, bro, put your hands in my pocket. We got some money to make. If you put your hands here, I'm telling you, with what I get out of this pocket, you gonna get the same thing. Right. Get your hands out my pocket. No, bro. Like, I, I want you to put your hands in my pocket. Yeah. Don't rob me. But put your hands on You know what I mean? But that's how we're going to get it. Everybody got to do their thing, step up and actually be like, I don't care what my clique or what they talking about. This is for a bigger cause and for a bigger thing in the city. Right. Everybody ain't scared to step away from their squad or step away from the, the group that's got them so, you know, on point. So step outside the square. And watch what happens. Yeah, no. I, ain't nobody scared. Ain't nobody brave enough to do this yet. Yeah. Well, no, I, no. I was just gonna say, you know, I, I, you really explained that well. You know, I mean, that's just you really went into depth with that, but that really makes a whole lot of sense, though. You really think about it and you explain I mean, it. <laughs> I mean, you, man, you, you came it, from man, it. Man, it's not a game. I'm like all the way from the toenail root. Like, <laughs> yeah. Dude, what is the problem? What is really the problem? I was like, people like to see you do good. They just don't want to see you do that. Right. Yeah. No, that's true, that's man. It, that's what it is. 
Yeah. So that's what they say. If you like to be good, you don't I love seeing you better. great, but just not better than me. That's all. <laughs> well, that's why don't we go do this together then? You, know you, you want to do it together? Well, who else would? It don't even matter. <laughs> the foot is not worried about what it, 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 it's doing. It's just a mentality here. That's yeah. what it is. I love to see you do good. It's what you do better than me. And to me, I mean, I'm just the opposite of that, man. I mean, I want to see you, you, you know what I'm saying, get to your full potential. Right. You know, then together, we can get farther than you get by yourself. Yeah. You know, two is better than one. You know what I mean? The more that's you true. get, <laughs> the more you get, the more, you know what I'm saying, you want that. Like you said, you promote yourself, you get out there, and nobody support you. You just promote you by yourself. So you got a team of people walking with you, support you. You don't go for it because you're supporting them as well. Because you're supporting as well. So everybody, it's everybody. It's a win-win situation. You know, like you said, it's like that to you. Yeah. You, you just return the favor. We get. It's a complete cycle. So it's your turn to push your project, and we all push your project. I'm gonna turn my project. We all push my project. Well, you ain't pushing more, so what's up? Pushing yeah. No, and we just well, keep, it going. We keep it going. Keep <laughs> it going. You keep gotta going. start somewhere. And then yeah. we turn around and we drop a, a collaboration project. We there all keep pushing. Then there yeah. you go. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah. I feel it, no man. But I think the next lineup's about to get here. So. Okay. So I, I do appreciate you know all you guys coming out and you know, oh, taking man. your time, man. If you want, we all want to plug your stuff before you dip. You know, just say where the people can find you and shit. We'll go with you go first, man. Shit, man. Damn. What about your ads, though? You know what I mean? Like, where people can find your oh, music. Yeah, you see shit. I'm on YouTube. I got some older shit. Uh, what's that? Coast to Coast mixtape. Shit, I make one of the uh, artist shit. And then, uh, shit, social media. I'm on social media. All over social media. We're going to be a live team in front of somewhere that motherfucker. Be. <laughs> YouTube, shit. I'm trying to think. I gotta think about that shit for real, for real. <laughs> it's a couple spots. Oh, uh, yeah, live mix tapes. Uh, what the fuck is the other one? Spin the I got some music on Spin the Shit. I mean, I mean, you know, first time I played it, man. I ain't been asking for music for a while. I was in one room for a long time. Putting in kites and shit just to go to medical because I'm not trying to do that, motherfucker. Shit. Whatever it is, I ain't gonna lie, but yeah. Oh uh, yeah, shit. It's been a while now. Uh, Coast to Coast mixtape. I think my mixtape is another one. Uh, shit. YouTube. My Twitter. Somebody shut my Twitter down. So shit. I gotta make a new one. Shit. Probably about the best in getting on the world. Start hip hop and say cheese pretty here pretty soon. So shit. I got some new shit coming. You know what I'm saying I got a new video I made, but. They keep blocking me on social media before I even got tired of talking to shit. So, shit, I got off for 30 days, got off for two days, got blocked again for 30 more days. And what the hell oh, you posted? Man, they get you. Yeah, let me go before he go because yeah, he got probably a thousand of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Of course, I'm on uh, Facebook. It's Tyrone Cole. I'm on uh, YouTube the same way. Got a channel on YouTube. Uh, Blue Squad. You can look at Blue Squad on YouTube. You it's on Spotify. We have songs on Spotify. Uh, it's that Instagram. Look up Daddy Shorty on Instagram. I mean, got, I mean songs all over. Like I said, you, you can Google it. Just Google Blue Squad. Like I said, if you want to really get to the music, just go to YouTube and look up Blue Squad. Uh, it pops right up, man, right there. So, and uh, besides that, I'm on Facebook pushing it every day. You know, so that's where I'm at. Holla. <laughs> hey, this your boy, No Good, man. You can get me at uh, N O G U D D A S I M P, and you can just Google that. I'm going to say it one more time because it's a long name, interesting results. N O G U D D A S I M P. And most people ask me, what does that mean? And it's No Good Descent. Well, no good. Well, they know what that means, and, <laughs> yeah, and then people say the same. But at the same time, noticeably outstanding, noticeably outstanding, gifted, unique, and distinguishable because of the sinister mouthpiece. N o g u d d a s i m p. What is that? <laughs> and I appreciate you, Mister uh, Martinez. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate man. Appreciate you, man. And, uh, and y'all folks out there, make sure y'all follow this cast, man. Make sure that y'all pop up and follow this thing, man. You always got some interesting artists out here. For real, you never know who you might meet. Yeah. For real. What oh, you yeah. had to say, bro? Oh, yeah. Google me, too. B-L-I-F-T-O-N-S-T-A-Y-B-L-I-F-T-E-D. You know what I'm saying? Then say some Facebook. If you want to look for me on Facebook, on my personal page, is B-L-I-F-T. Space right, but the blip stay blipped in no spaces. He said blip and stay blipped <laughs> I was trying to figure it out, I'm not, my, and my shit came like, did he say blip? 
<laughs> I, was, I was feeling it when he was saying it. I'm like, okay, I got you. Yeah, I was a big fire at one point in time. I ain't smoking nothing no more. Shit, I'm on paper to 2025. I hope they didn't realize that shit, but shit, I gave that shit up. <laughs> no, I feel it, man. Well, thank you all for coming, man. All right, shit, protect you, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, yeah. Well, thank you for bearing with me. I know the video cut off about halfway through. Please comment a key takeaway that you got from this video. On top of that, please hit subscribe if you want to continue to better yourself as an upcoming artist. Because this is just part three of this rap series that I'm doing. Thank you.